on this RV short I'm just going to go over a few things that I do to uh, help my camper get through the winter and uh, that's this is only if you're outdoors a lot of people put covers on theirs I don't put a cover on mine but this is a few things that I do to uh, help it out through the colder months one of the things I recommend is having one of these covers for your for your tongue jack as this is a pretty expensive piece of equipment you want to keep that weather out of there as best you can you don't want water getting in there it's pretty tight anyway these switches are exposed water can get in there and freeze and break so it's a good thing to have a cover on there maybe all the time but at least through the winter for sure One thing I do when I'm storing this for the winter is I actually make it a little bit unlevel. And you can do this one of two ways. You can lean it back or lean it forward. I lean mine forward just slightly, and that's to let that gutter drain completely. You don't want water to set right in that middle of that gutter and freeze, so I do it a little bit forward, and that way it allows water to drain off that roof and drip off the front end. Another thing I do is I always put my stabilizers down. I even do that through the summer months. It's just I do it to get high wind gusts. You don't want this thing blowing chalks. If you have a wind gust come around the corner of your house or something and hit it, you don't want it blowing past those chalks. So I've got those down all the time when I store it. But in the winter time especially, I have that done. Now something I do... And this is not for lubrication purposes, but this is just for water to cause water to repel. Is I take WD-40 and I spray all these areas on my jacks. This area here that's exposed metal and maybe these joints here a little bit. I do that on each one of them. That just keeps the water from building up in those areas. And uh, I'll relube those again when the spring comes. Now I will say that what we're doing here is in addition to the, the normal winterization, I have a video about how I winterize. So this is just an additional thing I do for because this unit's being stored out outdoors. And uh, one of the last things I do is I take my WD-40 again. Again, this is for lubricant just to keep water away. I go ahead and any scratches that might have got over the year will rust. So you want to hit that area. And even hit a little bit up here around this mechanism here. Just let that soak in and that'll displace any water that gets in there over the winter. So uh and I will go ahead and do my pins here too. You see a little rust has already got on those. That's for my weight distribution hitch. I'm just gonna put a little bit on that as well. So that's pretty much what I do. Like I say some people use the uh full covers I may do that eventually we'll see how that goes but this is the way I'm gonna store it for this year I've already done all my winterization done a little odds and ends as far as getting these areas cleaned up uh, we're gonna have a few projects we'll do over the winter in here last thing we'll do when we know we're not coming in here anymore is hit that battery disconnect which is up underneath the here and we'll call it a caught for the worst of the winter and like I say when we come back in, in the springtime we'll, we'll undo a lot of this stuff and, and re-clean it up and get it ready for the next year so that's about all I got for this video this is some personal preferences that I do uh, if you've got any ex additional things you do to your camper for the winter put those in the comments and we'll see you again on the next short